Hey, we're here in Stafford, Virginia at the Ramoth Baptist Church, where Awana is hosting its first annual Awana Grand Prix. Hey, I'm taking a backseat to the challenges today because this one is for the kids. But first, we're going to talk to Pastor Brent Vickery and find out what this program is all about. And we're here with Pastor Brent Vickery of Raymond Baptist Church. Sir, it's a pleasure. The pleasure's mine. Awesome. So can we talk about Awana and the program as a whole within Raymond Baptist Church and you know, the effect? Absolutely. It's my joy. Listen, I happen to be the pastor of a church where a lot of people have become very focused on children's ministry. And to be honest with you, uh, the Awana's program itself, when we kicked it off as a result of the vision of those people, uh, it has become the biggest, best thing we've got going on here at Ramoth Baptist Church related to children and youth. And so this day, while a lot of fun, is a culmination of a vision of a lot of people. And so not only is there fun today, but what people don't see is the behind the scenes stuff of children memorizing God's Word, volunteers getting involved, and also people just like me who are a pastor getting a lot of the credit but doing very little of the work. What a blessing it is to be able to be a part of such a church that is trying to grow people up in Jesus Christ. And uh, this day is a very important day. And I'm glad I can talk a little bit about what Awanas means to this church. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, we are dying to get downstairs and check out the race. So, sir, it's been a pleasure. I can't wait. I'm a judge. All right. So let's get to it. Take care. All right. And we're here with Todd Loudermilk, who's the director of this event. Todd, can you tell us a bit about the Awana program, the Grand Prix, and everything that's going on inside? Well, Anthony, Awana has always been bigger than just the children. It's been bigger than the volunteers that make it possible. It's also been about the family. And Awana, as an organization, come up with the Grand Prix as a means of getting fathers and other influential role models involved with the church. Hey, Chris, how you doing? Hey, good to meet you. Hey, um, so talk to us a little bit about the, uh, the Raymond Baptist Church Awana program. Well, Jay, the Awana program has been around for about 60 years. Um, it's based on 2 Timothy 2.15, so Awana used to be an acrostic which stood for Approved Workmen Are Not Ashamed. Oh, okay. And it's all about teaching the gospel to kids and youth. Um, the Awana program here at Ramoth started in January. Mm -hmm. It focuses on two-year-olds, which is our Puggles group, all the way up through our Trek and Journey group, which is all the way up through 18 years old. So we cover an entire spectrum of youth and children's ministry. Um, started in January with about 55 registered clubbers. And then inside of two weeks, uh, that almost doubled, and we're up to about 180 clubbers that are registered. Really? We're here, and we've been invaded by stormtroopers. Can you tell us a little bit about your involvement in this thing? Well, the, uh, the 501st Legion always has interest in new ship designers. So I was also hired to be a pit crew for one of the vehicles. Oh, really? Okay, okay. So, so can you tell us a little bit about the 501st and, 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 and what it does and it, it, its specialty? Or? The 501st Legion was, was started to be a charity organization, especially for kids. Hi, Angie Shelton, I believe? Yes, sir. Great, great. You are the Ramoth Baptist Church's Children's Ministry Director, if I'm correct. That's correct. All right, great. So tell us a little bit about the, the, the children's ministry here at Raymond Baptist Church. Um, I understand there's a, a children's choir, a vacation Bible school coming up, and a lot of other programs. Right. We do offer um, quite a bit for our children here at Raymond. Um, we have a vacation Bible school that's offered annually. We have a lot of volunteers. We couldn't do it without our volunteers. Uh, we also have children's church every Sunday during worship. We offer that for our four-year-old through first graders. And just today, actually, we had 24 in children's church. So a lot of participation in that. 